Okay, so this is the uh, uh, number six. Let's see if we can do number six and number seven in one video. So the, the, the part A of number six is actually pretty straightforward. We've done this problem a lot of times. And to save um, time in this, in the, already in this problem, I just already ha I wrote the answer. I'm just going to reveal it for you. So the first part is to understand that, that what we're going to do first is to find the marginal utilities, the ratio of the marginal utilities, to find the marginal utility of A, uh, take the partial derivative, um, so the marginal utility of, um, of L is going to be equal to 4L uh, to the third J, the marginal utility of J is um, L to the four, put that on top of each other, the ratio is going to be equal to 4J uh, over L, that is going to be equal to the ratio of the prices, which is P of, um, P of um, L over P of J, which is 8 over 4, that's 2, so that means that 4J equals 4j over l equals 2. We're going to sell that to put up in, um, in terms of j, so we can replace that in the budget constraints, that so j is equal to 0.5l. So this person is clearly going to consume a more l than j. Um, that's the budget line, 50 over j equals 50 over, uh, what is it, uh, 4, minus um, the ratio of the prices. We're going to replace this equation into this equation. So um, that should give you the answer, l equals to 5 and uh, j equals to 2.5. Now the second part of the problem, the price of um, L is actually going to go down to 4, so Jerry is probably going to consume more, more letters. Uh, the first part, the indifference curve, since the uh, indifference curve haven't changed, the preferences of Jerry haven't changed, it stayed exactly the same. The ratio of the marginal utilities is still 4j over L. But the ratio of the prices is now going to change. Instead of being 8 over 4, it's 4 over 4, which is 1. So therefore, the ratio of the marginal utilities equal to the prices is now going to be equal to 4j over L equals to 1. And when we solve for j, instead of j being 0.5L, j is going to be 0.25L. So that means that Jerry is going to consume more j. We replace that into the new budget line, which is actually 12.5 minus 1L, not 2L. Remember that the ratio of the price has changed. And that should give us the new values of L and j. Jerry consumes 10L now and 2.5j. Now remember that at this point, even though we haven't done part C, we already know the total effect of the price decrease in L. The total effect of the price decrease in L is five units of it, because Jerry consumes five units of L when the price is A, but when the price is four, it consumes 10, so Jerry increased consumption by five units, so that's the total effect of the price change in L. Now for part C, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the graph first, and then I'm gonna come back here uh, just to do things a little differently for those of you who are still coming from understanding this. So here's the answer. A is uh, the answer to part A, B is the answer to part B, and C is the answer to part C. So in part A, Jerry is consuming 5 units of L, the price of L is actually 8. Now the price of L changes, and the budget line shifted down, and that on the horizontal axis, and now Jerry can afford more um, actually more of both things, but he decides to consume 10L and the same amount of J. Now, he's, he's happier doing that, clearly, and he's able to achieve more consumption of L because of two reasons. Why? One is because he substitute, and the second one is because he's actually uh, consuming more. I mean, he's actually uh, uh, have more income. So what if we actually take uh, the income effect away and see how much more L, Jerry will consume simply because of substitution. So to take the income away, what we're going to do is we're going to basically, you see, so this, this line right here, what we're doing is we're taking the original, we're taking the new budget line that gives Jerry a little more income because he can buy more L with the same amount of money. We're going to take that away by shifting that line down, all the way down with the same slope to the original utility curve until it's just tangent to that utility curve. You see, so that happens right there. So at that point, how much is the consumption of L? We have taken the income effect away, and Jerry still consumed 5.75 units of L. So Jerry, even, even after, the, um, after we give him back the income, he still decides to consume more L and shifting some of the consumption of J for consumption of L. So that's got to be because of substitution. So here what we have is that, let's see if we can do this, is that this chain, this, this right here is the, um, 
computer is a little slow again. This right here is the income effect. And this little part right here is a, oops, it's a substitution effect. Okay, this is a substitution effect. Let's see if we can. Oh, what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can paint this a different color here. Let's do this color here. Oh. Oh, we had that color already. So let's do uh, orange. All right. So that's the uh, that orange line is the. So I want to copy that. That's the income effect, and this line right here. Let's do that. Uh, oh, that black. That's going to happen. All right, and that's the substitution effect. All right, so this is this is the income effect. X i. This right here is a substitution effect. All right. So um, it, all we have to do now is to get the numbers, right? So the numbers are basically we're going to do the same thing we did in the graph, right? We already calculated this two, five, and ten. Now what we're going to do is going to bring, um, going to keep the same prices and the utility we did with it in part one. So in order to do that, we know that the first part is exactly the same. The preferences haven't changed. Now this part is the same thing for part two because the price of um, of um, le letters is now um, four instead of eight. So four j is equal to a. So the the maximizing equation is still this one j equals 0.25 l. We're not going to use the budget line because we don't know how the income is going to be. We're taking income away, but we know that the utility is going to be equal to that, which is the utility he was getting in the first part of the problem. And then we also know that the utility stays the same. Preferences haven't changed. So we have basically this, these two equations here that we can use. So we can replace one equation to the other one, replacing this j for this 0.25, and then solve for, uh, solve for l. So we do that. l to the power of 4 is equal to 0.25 l. Uh, l multiply each other. They've got l equals to 5, 0.25. And now we're going to divide. Um, we're going to um, basically divide by u in order to get the uh, divide by 0.25 to get the L alone, and then we're going to raise everything to the power of one fifth, which is what we do right here, right? And now we know what this U is equal to. It's equal to this, right? We had that right here. So we're going to make this operation in our calculator, and what we end up with is L is equal to 5.25, 5.75, and then we can calculate the income and substitution effect based on that. So the substitution effect of this, do this again here, I think. I'm not sure even these numbers are actually right, so let me. Um, the substitution effect is one. Well, L, L uh, Jerry was consuming 5 before, and now it's consuming 575. So remember, go back down here. The substitution effect is this different, right? 575 minus 5. All right? So this is going to be 575 minus 5, which is equal to 0 0.75. And the income effect is the leftover, right? The income effect is this area right here, and we have taken that, that's the effect we have taken away by taking the income away. So that's 10 minus 575, which is a leftover. All right, so this is what we have right here, 5 minus, 10 minus 575 is the actual value of the income effect. And that is the income and substitution effect. They're both positive because they both represent an increase. Okay, so we're going to do uh, part um, number seven in a different video so because we actually took a little more time than I thought. So that's the answer to part six.